Hey, welcome back to Web Squadron. I love to optimize my images. Why wouldn't you? You want your website to load fast, efficient, and you don't want it to be slow, especially on a mobile for your page speed score. Now, I was a little bit hurt and upset today because two of my favorite plugins are either depreciated or are not working anymore. I'm talking about PNG to JPEG. This is a brilliant plugin where when you load it up or a loaded up or added in a compressed PNG, it used to half the size when it converted it into a JPEG and it did it all online within WordPress. And then I had another plugin by the same company called Images to WebP that converted the JPEG into WebP and that would shrink the size down even more. Unfortunately, Images to WebP no longer works. It's been temporarily suspended by the company. Will it ever be back? I don't know. And PNG to JPEG, well, I just installed it onto a new website we're building for a client and that's not even working properly. So I don't know what's going on with the company at the moment. I hope they sort things out because I really loved using their products. However, the key key thing, when you add a PNG image, when you've got it off Canva or Photoshop or whatever, it's going to be a big size and there are lots of solutions out there. Tiny PNG, um, other websites, um, compressedjpeg.com and there's lots of plugins on WordPress as well. Short pixel image optimizer, U image optimizer, 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 smush. There's loads and loads of stuff, but I'm going to show you something that I have found, which I'm like, you know what? I'm going to use this solution and you might not want to go for this solution, but I'm going to tell you why you should. By the way, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe and follow and make sure you share this video and let everybody know how amazing we are to help you get the best out of Elementor and WordPress. Now, the solution I'm talking about, let me just go back a step. I normally get an image from Canva. I will then go to tinypng.com or compressedjpeg.com, whichever, and I will drop the images in and it compresses it for me. And then I would load it into WordPress, okay? And then you do your further compression or optimization using one of these plugins. Now, what if I said I've got my image, but I'm now not gonna go to tinypng.com. I'm gonna completely bypass that and I'm gonna use a different website to compress my images and convert them into WebP. So when it's loaded into WordPress, I don't need any extra plugins. I've just saved myself one or two plugins. Let me show you the website I'm talking about. It's called Image Boost or IMG, which is imageboost.com. It's free. There's no limitation. It is totally, totally free. And what this will do, well, let me show you what it does, okay? I have got some images. I've got about, what have I got? 12 images here. And if you look at the image sizes, you know, they're ranging from two to three megabytes in size. They are PNG images from Canva. They are 1920 by 1080 desktop wallpaper images. They are too big. You do not want to be sticking two megabyte images onto your website. I see a lot of people that do, and I am going to say, shame on you. You don't want to do that. So I'm going to pick all these images up and I'm going to drop them. In fact, before I drop them, when you go to the website, make sure your PNG lossy is ticked to yes, or you've selected it yes, and make sure your convert is also put to yes. So what will happen is as soon as you add all the images on in one go, or if you do one by one, you might not want to hit convert, but make sure you've got convert equals yes. Let's go back over here and we're going to drop these 12 images. And what it will now do is it's going to start converting them. And it doesn't take long. It's as long as tiny PNG or compressedjpeg.com as well. So it's going to convert. Believe me, this is brilliant. Okay, I'm not just saying use this. I don't know this person. You know, the details about them, you can donate or support them, do what you want with them. But I think well, well done. It's totally free website. Because there's some out there where they say, hey, you can only do five images or 20 images. And after that, you got to pay for something. Well, no, this is totally free. Now watch what it's going to do. I'm now going to download all of these images. Okay. And did I click that? Yes, I did. Yeah. So that's now going to download over to wherever it's going. Okay. So let me now show you the results of that. Now, here are the results. Now, this is where you're going to get a load more files. So I have 12 and it's giving me a load more. Why? Because it's actually giving you multiple versions. So let me just pick one of these images here. Okay. The PNG image for this is 2.4 megabytes. Okay. But there is the WebP format. Okay, it has completely converted it back in, into the WebP format. Now, if I just pick on kind over here, 
and I just select all of these WebP images just so you can see them. So there's my 12 images. Look at the sizes of those now. Taking into account that some of them were 3.2 megabytes in size, but now 100 KBs, and some of them are a lot less than that. Now the beauty about this is it's gone straight to the WebP format. If I had sometimes, it doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it gives me the JPEG as well, but I don't care about the PNG and the JPEG. I'm after the WebP. There is a point to all of this. I will now load these into my WordPress media library. So here we go. I've loaded in the images for the WordPress library, okay? And this is the really, really cool bit. These are all WebP format. This image here was 2.8 megabytes as a PNG, right? 1920 by 1080, 2.8 megabytes. Look at it now. It is in the WebP format and it is 73 kilobytes and it is still 1920 by 1080. Why am I getting excited about this? How many times have you done a conversion online in WordPress where it converts it to WebP, but when you go to media library, you can still see the PNG or the JPEG? And doubt creeps in going, well, is the WebP actually there or not? You know, am I gonna get the next generation warning message when I go to PageSpeed Insights? It is now there. Like, it's there for you, the WebP format, 73 kilobytes from 2.8, I'm now not having, I now won't have on my server a copy of the original image and then I got another version and another version. Uh -uh. I've just got straight to WebP using this really simple free website. So what happens when I go to Elementor? Can I still insert that? Yes, I can. That is a full width image that I've added in WebP format and it's the same resolution as what I had before. It's actually been zoomed in when I took it from Canva. So don't stare at it and go, oh, it's not looking so clear. No, it is totally, totally fine. So what can I say? Imageboost.com just gave me the WebP format. I don't need, I mean, I would have done this anyway. I would have got my images, stuck it into tinypng.com compressed it anyway, got them, and then stuck it into the media library and then gone through some further plugins for optimization. Well, I'm bypassing the tiny PNG, coming straight here and uploading. So I've saved myself some steps. So I don't know who this is. I'm not affiliated to them, but I love them. And I think you should use them too. So you take care and I'll see you soon.